Hey guys, so I'm going to tell you the reason why my family does random acts of kindness. Um, I feel like I filmed this video thousands of times because it's kind of a, a hard story for me to tell and this is my first time being personal with you guys and I hope to in the future be personal with you guys and get to know the viewers out there more. Um, so a few years ago, um, me and my siblings were getting ready for a family reunion and we were kind of goofing off like siblings do. And my mom came in the room and said, guys, we need to go. There's been an accident. And my uncle called and then the call had been cut out. And so we all piled in the vehicle to head down to this, the spot where we were doing the reunion. And when on our way down there we were trying texting, we were trying calling just to get through to somebody and we couldn't get through to anybody and we got there to the spot and I'm my family's LDS and we were they were kneeled in a family prayer, just in a circle of having family prayer and they were praying for the strength that we could get through this trial together. Um, sorry, it's not a trial that came out wrong. Get through this together. Um, so, we finally were able to find out what happened, which was there had been an accident and some family members had passed away. And to find out that some family members that you were close to had passed on, it's kind of a hard thing to, to kind of explain the feelings that, that go through with you. Um, I'm sure that you guys out there know, or there's some of you that know. Um, but for a second there you feel like you can't breathe because they're gone and then you think, oh no, you're, it's not true, it's not true. And then you think like, oh, I'm just dreaming and you try and pinch yourself to wake up and then reality settles in. Um, so anyways, after the prayer, we all were hugging each other. And some of the family went down to the to the hospital in Salt Lake to go be with this the surviving family member. And the rest of us stayed at the spot. And we were getting so many calls from concerned neighbors and friends and ward members. And they were asking how we were doing, how things were going, um, and it was the same. People were bringing meals in that we had to start freezing meals that were you could freeze, and the fridge was full. Um, <laughs> and the funeral, the day of the funeral came, and we were all together as a family. And a funeral is not something that you want to have the family gathered for. You hope against hope. Um, you, you wish that that's why the family wasn't gathered together. Um, my thoughts were we should be back home as a family. We shouldn't be here having this funeral. Um, we shouldn't be in this cemetery. This shouldn't be happening. Um, we should be pack enjoying going on hikes. Sorry. <sighs> Sorry guys. I never said this story would be an easy one to tell. Oh. 
so many should be's um, ran through my head that day. Um, also, so many what ifs ran through my head that day as to what if we didn't have, what if the accident hadn't happened? What if the thing that caused the accident would have been done right in the first place? Um, also at the funeral we were able to meet the nice person that stopped by when the accident happened and he was able to kind of be with the survivor of the family and we have gotten close friends because of that. Um, oh. Like I said, so many should ha should be what ifs run through your head. Um, after the little bit that followed after, for me it was it was kind of hard because I had heard about people losing family in an accident. Um, I know this is strange, but I grew up as a kid thinking. Oh, I want to be in a car accident. That would be fun. Um, that losing family in an accident changed my mind in an instant like that. Um, but <sighs> since I'm LDS, I know that I will be with that family in the next life and that I will be able to see them again and be with them again and I'm glad that the survivor has turned this into a positive experience instead of letting it tear him down and dwelling on the negative about the situation um, I I just, I can't express the feelings that I felt that day and during the funeral. It's hard to express those feelings when you've lost a loved one. I think, and like I've probably mentioned before, um, but the family member that survived has started doing a random acts of kindness thing where it starts on the day of the accident and goes the full year till the next year and then it just starts again so it's a continuous cycle um, so don't I guess the message you could take away from this is do something nice for someone it doesn't have to be big it doesn't have to be huge 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 it can be something small um, and another message I think you'd get out of this is that to remain on the positive side of life, don't let the negative things take you down. Uh, so thank you guys for bearing with me on this. I know it's not a happy topic. It's not something that we like to talk about, but... But it, it's something that happens. So thanks for watching, guys. And we will see you in my next video. Bye.